Hi guys, in this tutorial, we'll look at how to sculpt the nose using Blender. Now, if you want to know how to create this basic nose shape, what I did is I used the snake hook tool and I just uh, dragged it out from the mesh. I used the snake hook tool and I pretty much just dragged it out from the mesh and shaped it using the grab brush. Okay, so if you want to see exactly how I did that, I'd recommend you check out the earlier video where I sculpt out a very basic face following the realistic proportions of the human head. So go ahead and check out that video if you want to know how I created this shape. But in this tutorial, I want to shape this out to a more realistic uh, shaped nose. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I will go ahead and go out of smooth shading so that's easy to see how the Dinotopo affects it. I don't want to ruin all the good work that I did with the uh, eyes, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to M or the mask tool and I'm just going to uh, mask out all these areas over here because just in case I destroy all that hard work that went into creating the eyes it will be quite devastating if I lose that okay and since I've got to be sculpting the nose uh, freely I might accidentally you know uh, touch the eyes so this is like a no-go zone for me okay so let's now first off shape out the nose the nose is sort of like a trapezium. There's like a, a plane over here, a plane in front, and a plane over here as well. On the side, we have these little bits that are sticking out. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and sculpt the planes of this nose. So I'm going to do is something like that. Quite lightly. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. And we'll keep it ready to be finished on the top. Okay, and for this area of the nose, we need to crease it. So let's go to Shift C. And we need to crease this entire area of the nose. From the side view, we have something that looks like that, which is good. From the front view, we have something that looks like that. Now, from the bottom view, we're just going to move the ends of the nose in and move this part of the nose so that it sticks out a little. So we have this kind of a shape. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the clay strips brush. I'm just going to draw in the, the muscles of this end of the nose over here so it sort of has this sort of bulbous shape so believe it or not that there is this little gap over here anatomy wise of the nose so once you've done that let's go ahead and hit s and smooth this entire area Sometimes it's not so obvious. For some characters, it can be quite obvious. And for others, not so. So let me just front and smooth. Okay, let's quickly go to the clay strips, and what we'll do is we'll just draw in a little bit more form over here. Alright, cool. And it's time to now start to draw in the nostrils. So for the nostrils, I think I'll just use a blob brush. I rarely ever use a blob brush. But I think it's perfect for nostrils. So make sure you get this sort of even thickness that goes around here. It doesn't really matter here, but uh, also make this thickness around about there as well. Okay, so as you can see, quite easily I can draw in a deep uh, divot for the nose. If you want, you can increase the divot even more. I think I'll just leave it at that. So from the front view, we have something that looks like that. It's starting to look like an awesome looking nose. But that's not really all for the nose. What we want to do is we want to go to the side view and we need the top part to stick down a little. Like so. We bring this down. So 
something like that would be good and for this part of the nose it tends to stick up so we'll just go in and then over here we just move it up like so and then over here you can go down I think that shape naturally the shape actually came out quite nice I didn't expect that so it's actually looking quite good what I might do is I might just move it back up a little like that. Might also move it back a little bit more. Hmm, I think it's actually looking surprisingly quite nice. Didn't expect that. Okay, so I might go S and then just smooth this entire area just to make it look nicer. It's looking good. Alright, and over here just to improve the realism, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the inflate brush. And you, what you want to do is you just want to inflate these areas over here. Just so that you have a little bit of a thing that's sticking out, the skin that's sticking out over here. So if I go over here, zoom in. Oops. Just inflate the ends of it like so. Yeah, and now I'm just going to go in and smooth it. Okay, this is obviously sticking out too much. Uh, so what I'll do is I think I'll move this like so. Move this back. Move this forward. Let's just smooth this part over here. Smooth this area over here. And I think that's looking good. I don't really think I need to do much tweaks to this. Maybe you can just move this one a tad bit down. But I think for the most part, that's it. Okay, so in terms of the, the bulbous part of the nose, it depends on how cartoony or how realistic you want. If you want to go for a more sharper nose, you obviously, oops, go to the grab brush and just, you know, uh, tweak these areas to be quite sharp and even move these in as well try and make it sharp uh, and then obviously you do want to smooth the entire area out what I'll also do actually is I'll move this inwards and this inwards as well like so and I'll also move this one in and in Okay, so we get that kind of a shape. If you want to go for a really bulbous type of a nose to be a bit more cartoony, go nuts with this one. So make this part stick really out and then, you know, smooth it out. But I don't think I want to go for the cartoony look. I'll just stick to something that looks like this, but maybe just fatten it out a little bit. And then just smooth it out. Alright, so uh, that's looking good. So let me just smooth, lightly smooth these areas. So if I now go to Alt M to remove that mask, we can see the nose and the eyes now look alright. So if I just go and smooth in these areas, let's just use a clay strip and clean this area. Uh, smooth. Also smooth this area and we've got a clay strips. Draw some detail in there and clean it up. I'll smooth this down actually. What I'll also do maybe I'll just move the 
ends of the nose. To be a little more subtle. Alright, so that's it. That's the basics of creating a realistic styled nose using Blender 2.8. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to create the lips using Blender. So, see you then.